Whenever any of your buildings go down, the engineer is always ready to dramatically cry about them being destroyed. He yells out in anguish, but how quickly does he yell? You might expect the answer to be pretty straightforward. He obviously just reacts instantly, right? But interestingly enough, he doesn't. From the instant the building is destroyed and the moment we can hear him speak, it takes about 10 milliseconds. Only if it's a dispenser being blown up. For the sentry gun and teleporter, the engineer actually reacts faster in just 8 milliseconds. This is obviously a result of TF2's super deep lore about how the engineer cares more about killing people and transporting his teammates. But after looking through the audio files for the voice lines, it's evidently caused by the padding. In the teleporter voice line, there's 3.5 milliseconds of pure silence before he starts talking. Similarly, the sentry voice line has 3 milliseconds of silence. The dispenser voice line also has 3.5 milliseconds of silence, but it takes him another millisecond before he's reasonably audible. If I replace the voice lines with a constant beep, we can see that technically, the engineer tries to speak 5 milliseconds after any of his buildings are destroyed. So what's the engineer's reaction speed? If you believe when he speaks is what matters, he reacts in 8 to 10 milliseconds. If we don't count the pure silences, 6.5 milliseconds. If it's decided by the instant the engine plays the voice lines, then 5 milliseconds. Also in case you were wondering, how far you are from your buildings or if you're looking at them obviously doesn't change the timings. So how impressive is a 10 millisecond reaction time? Surprisingly, the engineer would only be the third fastest living being on Earth. The fastest known motherfucker on Earth is a long-legged fly scientifically called a condylostylus from South America. It has a reaction time estimated at 2 milliseconds. Researchers were unable to take still pictures of this fly with flash on because it reacted so quickly. When photographed, the flash would happen, but before the picture could be processed, the fly would have already leapt into the air. So the Halloween set turning the engineer into a fly is very appropriate? The second fastest thing is a star-nosed mole. The tentacles on its snout have an 8 millisecond reaction time, apparently used to detect if they dug into something edible. After this, the next fastest is a skipper butterfly, Similar to the Condylostylus fly, they were able to react to the flash of a camera in less than 17 milliseconds. If a puff of air is blown into our eyes, the eye blink reflex takes 30 to 50 milliseconds. In reaction to a visual signal, humans generally take 150 milliseconds. We can also use this reaction time number to extrapolate data like an idiot. Here is a set of data that lists a person's age and the average reaction time they would achieve. The engineer's 10 millisecond reaction time implies that he is aged around negative 12. We can also try to find engineer's IQ. The average reaction time as reported by humanbenchmark.com is 284 milliseconds. According to worlddata.info, America has an average IQ of 98. The standard deviation for reaction times are apparently 29.23 milliseconds, and IQ has a standard deviation of 15. Jamming all of these numbers together, we can conclude that with a 10 millisecond reaction time, the engineer has 239 IQ. At 5 milliseconds, he would have 241 IQ. Surprisingly, that's not even that crazy, because there's someone called Ainan Kauli who is a child prodigy with an IQ of 263. In comparison, Einstein has an IQ of 160. In the short bit of engineer lore on the TF2 website, it's stated that he has 11 PhDs, so it actually kinda makes sense he has a 5 to 10 millisecond reaction time. The lore in this game is fucking next level. 
and I know that I'm having a reaction, yeah. and it's not an idiosyncratic reaction. Other people have the same reaction, but we don't have any model that explains that, right? It's, it's something that's absolutely occurring, but nobody can really understand, like, well, you know, should we make them bigger? Should we make them smaller? Or is it, like, tinier and tinier?